Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Came out to check on the herd and our two, yes, two red dogs. We, uh, we are growing. This herd is growing. <laughs> So if you want to see something really cool, I was headed to um, to our ranch to check on our baby uh, bison, check on the calves, check on the herd, and uh, there's a place in the park where you have to drive through to get to um, to our ranch. And um, on the way there, we go to that national park, Chickasaw National Recreation Area, and it's where I used to work. We drive by and look what's out here this morning. Baby calves. I was wondering if they had any baby calves. So this is the herd that I used to take care of. You can hear the cars come by because uh, this is called the Bison Viewpoint. And uh, it's probably one of the most popular spots in, in our park. Uh, so where our cabins are, we have the National Park as well. It goes all the way over there, and that's the lake side of it. But this is the kind of um, town side of it, and we're getting right at the edge of town. But um, it's hard to see these bison because you can tell there's a lot of trees. Uh, it's probably not the best uh, pasture for bison, but... Um... So Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and I, uh, this is where we worked. <laughs> This is where we started. This was one of our jobs was to come out here and take care of the bison. And this is one of the funnest parts about it is seeing these babies. So it's so hard to tell sometimes if they have any babies out here or not because they're hardly up there. It looks like they've got three calves. Those calves are a little bit bigger than mine. But you can stand along here. There's a trail, it's called the Buffalo Trail. And you can hike this trail. I think it's a little over two miles all the way around. Um, but uh, here's one of the best parts of this park is the bison this is where it all started for me is right here this is my first time to be hands-on with bison uh, was right here in this pasture um, with Daniel and I from Arms Family Homestead uh, we worked in this park and this was the highlight of our days um, and the highlight of our job is we got to come take care of the bison. We want to make sure they're uh, watered and every now and then we'd bring them same cubes that I feed my bison for a little treat every now and then. We'd come check them and give them some cubes but this is where it all started for me was right here and uh, I was just driving by this morning on the way to our ranch to check on our babies and uh, I see those three red dogs out there and you can't miss them. Um, because they stick out so much that red cinnamon color that famous um, unique color of bison baby bison So some of you are probably wondering How many are in here? It looks like there's uh, three four five six seven eight nine About nine and you got I see one main bull and uh, one of the cool things about this is my boss um in my second year working in this park, we got to go to the Wichita Mountains and pick up a bull. The bull here was older. He was probably 20 years old, at least. Uh, his name was Crooked Horn. But uh, he was just getting to the age where he couldn't breed as much anymore. So we went and got a young bull over at the Wichita Mountains. And this is where uh, I fell in love with the bison and, and being a part of this. Get him. So you hardly ever get to catch a glimpse of them and you can tell they're they're grazing. They started over here and now they're making their way this way and um, uh, they are used to people. They're not used to people being in the pasture with them like mine are, um, but they're used to people being up here on the fence. So to catch a glimpse of them here um, because they can go in the very far back of the property uh, is awesome and it's good to see the baby calves out here. That's exciting. So, 
Let's go check ours. <laughs> So yesterday I was working here around the ranch and I noticed that Eleanor was not around the main herd. So what I did was, is I stopped and I sent, I sent the drone up and, um, and once I got the drone there, I kind of got close to her to see if she would get up and she didn't. Um, she obviously stayed there and I saw her laid out and knew that she was in labor. So, um, I knew what was going to happen next. Uh, I had to go back to work and get stuff done at the cabin so I didn't get to see the live birth but we do have number two baby Eleanor's baby looky here Eleanor's got her baby. So Eleanor's had her very first calf. And uh, this is exciting because Eleanor, it's Eleanor. It's our sweet little fan favorite Eleanor. Our, uh, our most uh, gentle bison for sure she's always been gentle uh she's a little shorter too that's just I, she's really long which is which is a a great feature but and then i don't know why she is so short but um it's just exciting to have uh, to see eleanor have her uh her own baby um unfortunately it's a bull but you know what that's part of that's part of it it's part of raising bison in my first year i had two bull calves um, at least we got one heifer from Bell Star that has a heifer, but I'm pretty sure this is a little bull. Um, so that's okay. I'm excited to even just have calves out here. Um, so we're back to where we were last year. We've got two and we're waiting on one more. I love that Eleanor has a calf now and it's so fun.
Claw Paw is the next one due. So we're waiting on her. Keep an eye on her. So what she'll probably do is just like the other um, mama bison that we've had is she'll start to isolate herself. She'll start to be off by herself. She'll distance herself from the herd. And she's kind of feisty, so I don't... Uh... Woo! I don't trust her all the time, so I'm going to keep this gate between us. Uh, but, uh, Quapa, um, what she should do is she'll start to kind of isolate herself from the herd. She'll, she'll, um, she'll keep a far distance. She may not come up and, uh, be as close to me or, or anybody out here. You'll start to see that. Bell Star did it. Uh, uh, my first heifer that had a calf uh, this year, Eleanor did it. I uh, read those signs and, um, we should start to see her. Last year, Quapaw didn't have a baby until June 27th. So we're kind of right here in her time frame. Um, Dakota didn't have her calf till July 14th. One of the reasons why we have this feeder is we want these bison to have their calves a little bit earlier. Uh, the only thing that really kind of stresses me out a little bit is if they have their babies so late in the summer, it's already hot um, and it, it can be hard on these babies and um, so I'd just rather them have their calves a little earlier and uh, plus another benefit of, of that feeder like I may have mentioned um, is they um, your calves are a little bit bigger when you go to sale and you can sell bigger animals so that's another benefit as well but um, anyways that's kind of the process you can see her udder has dropped some you can't see it but I can see it um her udder is filling up these udders are not like uh, a dairy cow i mean it's not it's not very big it's not going to drop really low um their udders are pretty tight uh but um there's some other signs that you can read but the main thing is you start to see the isolation well hope you guys enjoyed the video today it's always uh fun to get up close to those baby calves that was the first time that I put my um, my monster truck remote control <laughs> uh, car up close to them. Just attached my GoPro to it like you've uh, probably seen in one of my previous videos. But um, it was the first time I've had that out there in the pasture with them and, and they, I think they handled it pretty well. They You can tell these bison are so curious. They, uh, they know everything that's in their pasture and when something new shows up, uh, they wanna know what it is so they come up and sniff it. That's fun to see those calves do that and uh, slobbered all over the GoPro, had to clean it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video um, and, and seeing those calves. They're both doing great. One heifer and one bull, and I'm pretty sure we've got just one more due, and that's going to be quad paws. Um, just wait and see and watch for signs, just like we do with the others. So stay tuned with us. You guys can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Facebook. I've got some new shirts coming around the corner, so stay tuned for that. Um, I've put a lot of work into uh, making a couple of cool new designs. Nothing's changing. My logo is still the same. Just have a couple of shirts I'm going to throw out there. So thank you guys for following us. And if you haven't, if you want to follow us along, you can follow a, a small ranch in southern Oklahoma raising the American bison. Thank you, guys.